Hey guys, today we're going to build a minting website on Webflow without code. You can connect MetaMask, Mint, NFTs on your website and kickstart your NFT project just like in a matter of hours or minutes. So to start, we still need an NFT contract and uh, your collections shouldn't be created on OpenSea. You need your own NFT smart contract. Usually you can hire your own developer, but that's expensive. And you can use BuildShip to create one without code for free. You can just go to app buildship.xyz, uh, click on create, and then just create your contract. Yeah, so uh, to start, we, we need to have our Webflow website. We need to subscribe to the basic site plan. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to publish it on a custom domain with embed code. We also need... Uh, to create a button, then we'll just copy an embed code, uh, change it a little bit, and then pass it, and then everything magically will work. So let's do that. I'm going to use a test contract uh, that I've created beforehand, and I'm going to just try everything out on a fake Ethereum blockchain called Rinkyby Testnet. Basically, you can mint everything and do everything there for free using fake Ethereum currency. So let's do that. I'm just gonna go to Webflow, open a template I've cloned beforehand. Also, if you need a template, you can use our free template. Uh, you can just click here and uh, you can just click clone and you'll have our free template with this build chip widget integrated. So for now, we're just gonna add, uh, use some other template that I found that is very pretty and yeah. And I'm just gonna modify a button to say like mint button, mint now, right? And this this will be our minting button. And instead of going to open C, I'm just gonna give it an ID mint button, just as in the instruction set, right? And then this this button will instead say connect wallet, right? And this I'll just delete. And uh, yeah. So to, to, to build a connect wallet button, I'm just going to put ID connect here. And uh, yeah, after that, I need to, to create my embed, embed, embed block. Here it is. Uh, yeah, and now I need to insert my code. I'm just going to copy it from the instruction. Uh, the link will be in the description, so don't worry. You can just return to that instruction later. And yeah, so it's almost done. but. First, we need to insert our contract address, and I'm just going to use this test uh, contract that I've created beforehand. But if you don't have it, you can go to build chip and create it easily. So then uh, I'm just going to insert it here. Don't don't forget about quotes. Uh, and also, since I'm using a test contract and I don't want to spend any money, I'm just going to put is test net true. So basically, that means I'll be doing everything on a fake Ethereum blockchain that is called Rinkibai, where I will mint for free and do everything for free just to, to, to test everything out. That's what you can do in your contract as well in BuildShip or with your own developers. Yeah, so this is what we're going to do. And also, it's important to say that your contract needs to have price and mint functions in, uh, in it. So if you're building your own contract with your own developer, make sure that your methods are called uh, like basically price and mint, right? You can also call it cost, but it's usually uh, like safer to call it price and mint, just so everyone has the same naming conventions. Yeah, so I've added the block and uh, let me just move it to the bottom of the page. So uh, it's, it's unnecessary, but if you're like copying this on VIX, on Squarespace or WordPress, uh, that was, we're, Instructions for those platforms we're going to cover in another video, but basically you can just figure it out yourself right now. And it's better to usually put an embed code in the bottom, but it's not necessary. So I'm just going to go and publish this. And um, yeah, let's click on Mint. And it asks you to connect your wallet. Uh, you can just click on MetaMask. And uh, I've connected my wallet and it asks you to Mint just so easy. I can just select how many I want to mint. 
and then I'll just go and mint them. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna click confirm, and it's already minting four NFTs. Uh, yeah, let's wait for it to mint. Meanwhile, I can show you how to style your widget. Uh, yeah, let's open this instruction. Yeah, so now it says successfully minted four NFTs. And uh, you can also like disconnect your wallet. And uh, yeah, see connect the wallet button also works. But now I'm just gonna go into advanced thing and I'm just gonna style this widget. So let's just copy this thing because it's from example and just go to our embed block, click twice, and then paste the styles variable here. So it says background color here, I'm just gonna use black. So for the button text color, I'm just gonna use white. Uh, if you're a designer, then you understand. And for the corners, I'm gonna use around it. This is not necessary, just if you don't wanna style your widget, if you're fine with this design, you can just skip it skip this and uh, just go to the end of the video. Yeah. So, okay, let's try it. I have changed some colors and uh, this web pool thing drives me crazy. Okay. So I'm just gonna connect to a wallet again since I disconnected it earlier. Usually you don't have to connect it again. Oh, see? Yeah, so this widget <laughs> styling is working, but I think, uh, I've missed some of that. Yeah, primary color should be like, for instance, blue, right? So it's gonna blue color or hex code. And yeah, so the blue color hex code is this. Yeah, they seriously need to do something with this. Okay, now this almost works because I really also need uh, dark theme and uh, I have to have a secondary text color that is more white. You can just pause it if, if, if it was fast for you but right now I'm just gonna for the sake of yeah see the styling worked I'm not sure about the colors <laughs> but uh, it's just an example of how this will work and everything just like is uh, everything is just working and then you can just go to OpenSea, uh, test nest, OpenSea, and uh, check if you've got the NFTs. Uh, because the OpenSea is the only platform that shows you NFTs across like every collection. See, I've, I've minted a lot of them. Yeah. So I just minted those. Let's see, I've, I already got them three minutes ago. So this totally works. But it's of course it's our contract. So to recap, you can just easily build your NFT minting website on the flow, or hire a designer, and your designer can use these instructions, uh, basically to to set this widget up. It's not very complicated. The thing to remember is you have to have a um, contract, and you have to understand whether it's in testnet or not. And if you're not using Ethereum. Yeah, in this video, I'm using Ethereum. But usually if you're using any other like Ethereum-based network like Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, you can just remove ETHNet, TISTNet line and then just go with network ID equals like your network ID. So how to, how to uh, understand what's your network ID, you can just type here Polygon, for instance. Yeah, so see, it's saying chain ID 137. You just put network ID 137 and it magically works with Polygon. Uh, let's just try it really fast. I think it just will give me an error because I don't have a contract on Polygon right now, but still like uh, you'll see that it, yeah, see. Yeah, it's uh, at least it's asking you to show you like to switch on Polygon, yeah. And then you can go on Mint if you have a right contract, of course. Okay, so that's it. Uh, stay subscribed to BuildShip channel uh, for new videos on how to create your own smart contract with a code, how to generate art, or like a lot of tutorials for no code 
people like artists, designers, and uh, founders that just want to build their own NFT project and raise money. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.